you're a pretty big deal. Congratulations on all your success. I'm a big deal. Are you kidding? Oh my yeah. God! Like this is like I'm alive right now. This is crazy. <laughs> well, well thank, thank you so much for having me. Of course. Thank you for being here. And you flew your mom in. She's Hi, here. Mom. Yeah. Hi. Hi, mom. Your mom. What's her name? Jackie. Ma Queen Jackie. Yeah. Queen Jackie. Queen Jackie. What an amazing young man, right? You must be so proud of him. I am. Words can't even explain it. You know, when you're a parent, you always think, am I doing the right thing? And looking up there, it's just amazing. You did me. the right thing. He's doing, he's making a lot of good change. So for people who don't know what you do on the internet, yes, if you don't know what he does, um, <laughs> it's what a lot of people do, but you're very successful at it. Just tell everyone what you're doing. Uh, so I talk about my life uh, just on YouTube. So I've been making videos for eight years now, and I talk about pop culture. I talk about um, everything that's going on in my life. I do collaborations with other YouTubers and some celebrities, and I just like to have a diary. And now, eight years later, I do it for a job. Why do you think people are, are uh, flocking to you and you're so successful? Uh, I think people just want to watch people live their authentic lives and share the good and the bad and um, kind of show that maybe you can have fun and still be a positive influence, maybe, or have a good impact or do good, and um, it can still be entertaining. You don't have to be sassy or negative. You can just uh, kind of have fun and be yourself, and that, that's enough. Without being mean. Yeah, yeah that's I feel like it's like the luckiest job in the world, yeah. I feel. Well, you, and you, you put out videos and you influenced one very famous person, which must have felt amazing to you. Yeah, um, so back in like 2008, I made a video about the importance of being authentic to yourself and about um, coming out and uh, how you should wait till you're ready and things like that. And um, a few years later, I got a tweet one morning on National Coming Out Day, and it was from Ricky Martin, and he said that, that video was uh, part of the reason why he felt ready to share his story. And it was like one of those things where I was like, oh my God, like I used to watch TRL and like have a crush on him. Yeah. Uh, and so I was like, it was like, you never, I just never thought that I, that would happen. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing that you had an impact on, on Ricky Martin like yeah. that. And now you've interviewed, uh, you went to the White House, you interviewed One Direction, the First Lady. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like at the White House? We had a meeting of maybe 10 of us YouTubers meeting with the president, and it was just us talking about using the internet to connect with young people. And it was like one of those moments where, like you never dream it'll happen, and then, I was so shy during the whole time because I was like, oh my God, that's the president. And like, I was just like, just, oh my God, bewildered. And he was like, do you want to come see the office? And so, it, and apparently he doesn't bring that many people in there. So he was giving us a tour of his office and he was telling us about his desk. And there was like a moment of silence where I was like, okay, nobody's saying anything. This is my chance to like make an impact and say something he'll remember. And I was like, Cute desk. <laughs> so you make uh, you make uh, videos. A lot of people watch your videos, and so I thought that I would give you something. So the next time you shoot a video, um, I want you to shoot it with this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's perfect.